I'm here with Mark, the wine consultant at the brand new Wise Guys Liquors right here in Valparaiso, and he's gonna teach us all about some wines. Mark, you are a wine consultant here. Tell me a little bit about what that means. Uh, basically, uh, I'm here to give advice on, uh, on wine selections, uh, whether it's just regular suggestions or whether it's pairing with cuisine. And tell us a little bit about what, the education you wanna share with us today. Well, I thought today, given we're in the holiday season, uh, it's important to uh, discuss how to approach uh, a holiday meal. And uh, so it was kind of tricky as to how to pick what wine to work specifically with the courses. So if I was having just turkey dinner. The common turkey dinner, then, yeah, fill us in. Personally, I like to start off with a little appetizer. So, uh, or an aperitif, and so a little bubbly wouldn't hurt. One of my favorites. And uh, this little Biacar Samon. If I want to stay white uh, wine, then I, I would go with something like a, uh, a Riesling Got or it. a, a Gewürztraminer. Both are very aromatic white wines, and so they have their medium bodied, so they can hold up to the, the starch of the, the cuisine. They've got good acidity, so it's, they can cut through the, uh, the, the starches and they can see, make it seem a little more uh, lighter on the palate, which got is it. something that's more refreshing. Or you could just go dry and just go with a little rosé. Okay. And rosé can hold up to a turkey quite nicely. Hanukkah. As I say, we've got other holidays. Okay. Let's talk so, about those. Hanukkah, and so with the brisket, you know, I could go with uh, the Cabernet there again. The, uh, that one would be a good uh, pairing. Another great choice, right? And uh, you know, the other thing that I could do is to bring out. There's my, uh, you know, Cote du Rhone, and this is a rich, full one, uh, uh, Chateau Saint Com. Uh, this is their uh, Deux Albion. There's little property that they uh, produce, but it's a fully extracted Syrah. So now if you went into, into Kwanzaa, um, which is much more aromatic and spicy foods that you're going to be dealing with, you were asking for a wine to bring it. Yes, <laughs> so, exactly, and, yes. Uh, so and to handling the heat of the, the dish is right. tricky. So you're gonna need wines that either have a little sweetness to them or wines that are gonna be very fruit forward. So again, if I have a city to go against a mild chicken uh, gumbo, I could work with Chardonnay and uh, you know, that would be fine. Or I could work with a light red uh, you know, Pinot Noir or something like that. Mm -hmm. That would be great. I might get a Riesling that has a little bit of, not bone dry, but something with one or two percent residual sugar. And so, if someone were to come here, I want to basically them to come and, and tell us uh, what the uh, what their dining experience is going to be like, what their table is going to be set with, and then I want to be able to help them do the pairings with that meal. Well, thank you, Mark. This is amazing and so helpful. Everybody for the holidays, get out here to Wise Guys at any location, but the new one in Valparaiso is absolutely incredible and you can call at any point and ask for Mark or see when he's gonna be in and he'll make time for you to cater to your specific needs for your specific holiday meal. Thanks again for, for having me and teaching me so much today. Thank you, appreciate your time. Always. Take care guys.